That's in there? Oh yeah, there's still some in here. This morning, well it's actually not morning. Me and Omar slept forever. Uh, it's six to give him his medicine. And then he wanted to go back to sleep. So we went back to sleep at like 11.30. So we slept in pretty long and hard today. Oh, I don't know what the plan is. Let me get something to eat real quick. Oh, got an unboxing for you. Chew on it. Yeah. Damn. Damn. It's your new grass. It's your new grass. Hey, off. Hey. Give me a sec. You want it right away, it's fine. Whew. New grass. Yeah, you like the new grass. You're just gonna piss all over it today, huh? The grass, for those of you that don't know, comes from a place called Doggy Lawn. Don't have to take him downstairs every, you know, four or five o'clock in the morning. My man can just walk outside. Doggy Lawn, shout out to you. So far, so good. What did you think? Think somebody was here? Nobody's here. Nobody's here, it's just me and you. Crazy? Shout out to Doggy Lawn for the Doggy Lawn, because it has come in very helpful. And Omar seems to love it. So. Okay, so uh, today, a little update on Omar. He's doing a little better, but he's like back and forth. He's playful and he wants to play and then he starts coughing and earlier he threw up. Um, I don't know if he threw up just because he ate some shit too fast or, or what, but he definitely threw up and it's not, not fun. It's kind of like how it is when you have a baby puppy and he gets sick. I am pretty much gonna be stuck here today with him, which I don't mind, it's fine. Um, I could honestly use a couple of days to catch up on stuff and I can get this room organized, hang these shelves, build these new shelves, but really nothing exciting. I'm gonna order salad making supplies to the house, make some salads, hang out here with Omar. So um, we do have one pair of shoes we can look at today. We never took a look at the Harvest Red. Hey, me and Omar are gonna chill, gonna clean the house. I still haven't seen the newest episode of, I still haven't seen the newest episode of Game of Thrones, so I'm probably gonna watch that tonight. And that's really it. And then we have the drop tomorrow. So I have to figure out what time that's gonna be. Drop tomorrow, Saturday, all of the LA stuff, because I couldn't go to LA. The Devil shirts and the Dragon shirts are both gonna be online tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Mountain Time. That's 10 a.m. in California. And that's 1 p.m. in New York. And you know, like 12 in Chicago. Dragons in two colors, devils in two colors. Only short sleeve available. Good luck, it's probably gonna be crazy. <sighs> All right, so, um, I have not done anything today that I said I was gonna do. I didn't do anything in the shoe room. I didn't build any shelves. I did not, I didn't do anything. I've just been hanging out with Omar. He, um, earlier after the grass pad got here, he got sick. He's pretty lethargic this afternoon and this morning. He didn't really wanna wake up. Hence the reasons why I'm still here and not going to LA. He definitely still has an appetite. He'll eat. Anytime I grab a treat, he'll eat anything. But I haven't done anything really today except change shirts like four times because he keeps snot getting snot all over me. Yeah, I just, I'm not really feeling that motivated today. <laughs> like, honestly, I wasn't even gonna do a vlog. I was just gonna tweet out there's no vlog today. I'm tired. And that's the truth. I'm just like exhausted. I don't know if it's mentally with all the shit that's been going on. There's shit going on behind the scenes that nobody really knows about and just, um, you know, just life and trying to do all this shop stuff, travel stress and all this shit. So yeah, I don't know. I just, uh, I'm just fucking over it today. Having kind of an off day. I really am not that motivated to do much. Man, I'm just, I'm human like anybody else, you know, and just today 
I can't get into it and I can't get into anything. Like even being online, like people tagging me in shoes that are coming out and stuff. It's just like today I just don't care, you know? <laughs> I just don't care today. Yeah, and it is what it is. I'm sure that I'll be fine. I just probably need a break. And maybe the stress of this dog. Here, I got something on my shoe. The stress of this dog and everything and you know, having to cancel sneaker con, I feel guilty for it. And it's just too much. Yeah, kind of an off day. I'm sorry for that, but. We'll be back on Monday, and I'm sure we'll be back to our regular, regular stuff. And I'm sure Omar will be better, and everything will be all right with the world. But today, today is just kind of a meh day. The shoes that we have that we did not talk about the other day are the NMD CS2 PKs. This is the Harvest Red colorway. This is actually, so far, the only colorway I've even been interested in. The only color I've been interested in for the Harvest um, what do you want to call that pattern or whatever so um, but yeah this is what the shoe looks like I've worn these uh, so this is the shoe crazy ass pattern on the upper very crazy um, so yeah so the harvest is obviously I'm, I'm assuming this what they've called this kind of haphazard pattern whatever you want to call that. Um, I don't have any idea why they call it harvest. I don't know if it's supposed to look like wheat or some wheat blown in the wind. I don't have any idea. This is a CS2. I do like CS2. I like city socks a lot. This colorway is what stands out to me the most. Um, I'll be honest and most of the colorways that have dropped in the harvest stylings are kind of plain and boring. You know, it's like more tonal stuff like grays, tans, and you know, stuff like that. So this just really stands out to me because it's just a more unique colorway. So the other stuff I'm not really feeling and I don't love this harvest pattern like to death it's not like I'm not like freaking out over it it doesn't kill the shoe for me but it also isn't making it I all red upper and then you have crazy ass black digitally harvested <laughs> digitally harvested in there all throughout there's really no rhyme or reason it's basically red and black all throughout the upper and it just creates this kind of crazy looking pattern very animal print to me i don't really um yeah it's a weird direction for adidas I, i'm not again i'm not hating it. i know some people in the comments are going to say that i don't like it or even that they don't like it which is fine but it is definitely different and i'm not going to knock adidas for doing something a little different but this one is definitely crazy and i can already already hear so many people hating the shoe so all red upper with the black harvested in and then you where the laces normally would be there's just an embroidered straight lines that go across you also have that on the inside of the shoe making a you know half circle and then on the top collar which is a more fire red you have white stripes uh, kind of breaking up the middle there and I don't know why there's six of them. It doesn't make a lot of sense Probably should just be three, but whatever uh, Regular NMD heel tab back there and then of course boost you have one brick and then no bricks on the outside one of the biggest complaints people have about the um, R2 versions of any of this stuff or the C2s whatever um, or there's that inner brick right there hurting your foot I've only experienced it on one shoe and on this shoe I do not notice it and that's because this one is PK the only shoe I've noticed it on is one that was not PK uh, no insole because it's basically an NMD I would say for this go true to size like seriously guys unless my foot is just like that this is really tight like this knitting is way less stretchy than our regular NMDs are. Like way less stretchy. It's super tight and kind of even stiff at first. It becomes more, I guess, if palatable is the word, but you, it becomes, you know, more workable as you wear them. I've only worn these once. They've kind of loosened up a little bit, but it is pretty stiff when you first put it on. I will be honest. A lot of people don't like that. I don't really know yet. I like the way CS2s look the best, but I like the uppers on the CS1s better. So it's kind of hard to really like, I don't know. It's kind of hard to decide. Um, burrito, tongue, which this is probably my favorite part about the CS2 is how this kind of just overlaps each other. It's aesthetically pleasing to me. I do like this. Reminds me of kind of like a ninja shoe. I like that. I like ninja stuff. And then a regular NMD sole. Nothing special on the bottom. So, no glow soles. Nothing like that. That's pretty much the Harvest Red. That's just like a quick little review of the shoe. It's a great colorway. You don't have any red city socks. So I do like this. And again, like the pattern is a little crazy. It's definitely not for everybody. Definitely got a little bit of a fucking cheetah vibe to it. I still like it. I still fuck with this shoe, but I'm definitely not copping every single harvest that they drop. Like I just, they're not all, they're not all speaking to me. That's for sure. People were asking me when I posted these, when they're going to come out. They've been out. I'm pretty sure they're still sitting on Adidas's website. Did not sell out. They're not selling out. Um, like a lot of Boost products, there's more general releases that have been 
Well, it's more general in release. You know, there's more stuff available. People think Boost is dead because it's sitting, which I disagree with. I don't think Boost is gonna die. I think Boost is here to stay. But I do think the feeling of being the only person in the room that has on a Boost shoe is diminished. Like you're not gonna, that's just not gonna happen because Boost has become popular. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's kind of the point is for it to become popular. There's still things that you can't cop. There's still, you know, exclusives and there's still really limited stuff that's hard to get. So you'll always have that aspect of the sneaker world. And let's be honest, that's the part that all of us, not well not all of us, but that's the part that most people give a shit about. You know, it's there's a lot of hype around it. There's a lot of this around it. A lot of people aren't buying the shit just because they like it. They're buying it out of hype. And that's fine if that's what you want to do, but not every shoe can be a hype ass shoe. And this is just another general, another general release. It happens to be a CS2. All right, that is it. Harvest Red, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys on Monday. Peace. Yeah, I'll be kidding.